All right, today I'm going to be doing some upgrades on this Lenovo uh, desktop computer. Basically, I've been working on it little by little and uh, getting Windows 7 installed on it. My lights are flickering here. There we go. So, yeah. Um, issues I'm running into is the video card apparently cannot handle the graphics of Windows 7. The onboard graphics do not work at all. So, um, I've ordered a card. It's a NVIDIA, I think 128 megabit. It was dirt cheap, like $8 I think I found on eBay. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to install that. And um, also I'm going to upgrade the RAM. I actually found a second stick of uh, 2 gig DDR2 uh, Kingston RAM, so this is 4 gigs right here, two 2 gig sticks. It's only got 1 gig in there right now, so I haven't had a chance to test the second stick that I ordered, which I believe is this one, can't remember. And uh, we'll install them and see if it works. But for right now, I'll go ahead and fire the computer up because I'm just, I'll show you what I mean with this graphics because it's. Uh, kind of uh, horrible. Now let me see, turn it on. There we go. Using my old amped monitor. Everything starts out good. Lenovo. Yeah, starting window. See how distorted that is? I mean, it's like all cattywampus and, you know, no color to it. So, that's the first sign I thought I had a problem. I've already done updates to this thing, thinking maybe an update would fix it, but nope. So, yeah, I'm just going to replace the card, and that should fix this problem. as it continues to boot. Oh, while we're waiting, this is an old AGP card. See, I'm not even using the PCI Express slot. This is an old AGP card, so yeah, I'm thinking there's probably not even an update for it. So another reason I probably should just go ahead and upgrade it to something that's, you know, usable. Sure does take its time booting up. There. So there's my graphics. <laughs> the color is just totally, totally out of whack. So, yep. Using Windows 7 Professional. Yeah, there we go. Landscape. So, as you can tell, the color is like totally off. And even the startup, you know, the, the uh, start bar at the bottom, or the task bar, yeah, it's just all all discombobulated there. So, yeah, really can't, you know, do a whole lot on this with the video card the way it is. So, like I said, we'll wait for the new one to arrive. It should be here today. And once it gets here, we will do an upgrade and reboot this thing and see how it works. Yeah, real quick, I'll go ahead and go to the control panel. See, when you click on something, it just disappears. So that's, again, another issue with this card. All right, now we'll check system right there. All right, one gig of RAM, AMD Athlon, 64-bit. Um, this may be able to handle uh, the 64-bit operating system, but I just loaded 32-bit on here. One gig of RAM, uh, basically it's a 1.9 processor, so you know it's a, it's okay, you know, for office work. 
which, which is the main reason I have these on hand in case I need an extra computer or one fails and I need to get one back in service, you know, right away so we're not down too long or, you know, losing business. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll wait for the parts to get here and we'll upgrade. Yeah, actually, while I'm waiting, I might as well go ahead and install the RAM. As you can tell, this is Kingston. Of course, won't focus in on it. KPR 5300 slash 2GR. Two exact sticks. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and install them and we'll test them when we get the new card installed. Get that one out. There we go. That's the old... RAM, which are 512 sticks to give it just one gig. Um, PC2 3200, DDR2 400. So, yep, that's out. All right, easy as that. The four gigs are installed, so we'll test it in just a bit. All right, finally it has arrived. So get it out of the bag with one hand here. Okay, well, looking at that, yeah, I'm looking at that, and uh, I don't see how that's going to work. It figures. Well, I mean, it fits in there, but yeah, I don't have the right connection for that uh, DVI slot. I'm assuming that's a DVI, but yeah, that's that's great. Well, of course, calling around, no one carries uh, this adapter. It's actually a DMS-59. So it's basically for dual uh, outputs, like uh, dual monitors. You know, two VGAs, two DVIs, or one VGA, one DVI. So I've had to order the adapter, and I guess it'll be here in a couple of days. So <laughs> great. Everything's delayed again so we'll just uh, wait till it arrives and continue this video <laughs> okay finally the part has arrived this is the DMS-59 dual VGA I guess that's the way these are made so get the cover off of uh, this one here there, just like that so yeah that's what it looks like similar to a DVI but it is not it's a DMS and it only goes in one way. So, looks like it goes just like that. And then screw the little threads in there. There's one. A little difficult to do with one hand. Okay, there's the other. So now I'll go ahead and hook up my two uh, VGAs went ahead and broke out a second monitor there and uh, just to test it, you know, to see the dual monitor situation. So this one I guess will be for this one. Yeah, I do this with two hands here. Hold on. All right, so now we are connected. So a quick review. We've upped the RAM from one gig to four gigs using two, uh, two, two gig sticks. And, uh, yeah, we're going to test that out as well. There's the old video card, which is, uh, I mean, it works with XP, but doesn't seem to work well with Windows 7. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up, and we'll see how it goes. So we got one monitor there, one monitor here. Turn this one on manually. And we'll see. There we go. It's on that one, and it's on this one. So good. We've got dual monitor support with the uh, PCI 16X um, 128 megabit NVIDIA card. We'll let it start Windows. Yeah, that looks a lot better. It's not all discombobulated, so it definitely needed a video card upgrade. We'll let it finish its boot up here, and uh, we'll check the RAM. Alright, please wait. Oh, well, I see. Okay, so installing the device driver now. Yeah, see my cursor? It's moving there, and it's moving here, so... Mm. 
<laughs> that could get a little confusing. All right, well that's good. So video card installed properly. We'll go into the uh, control panel and we'll go to display. And let's see. Just resolution, calibrate color, just display settings. Okay, well that's interesting. So this one will only allow you to see both monitors as one monitor. Really? Identify one and one. Okay. Huh. Change it to 1024 by 768. And we'll keep the changes. That looks a little better. So, uh, interesting. Yeah, apparently I can't, uh, um, use this as a separate, separate, uh, you know, monitor one, monitor two. So, hmm, maybe that's why I don't see <clears throat> very many of these, uh, DSM video cards. Well, interesting. Okay, well, Enough of this, we'll just go to system. We'll make sure we've got four gigs. Yep, we're detecting four gigs. So the AMD Athlon uh, 64X2 dual core processor 3600 is apparently set up for four gigs. And this is, well, it's using a 32 bit operating system. So theoretically, it looks like it could handle a uh, 64 bit operating system from what I'm seeing there. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, well, let's see. System rating is not available. We didn't do that the first time because of uh, it was on XP and I just loaded the system. So let's rate this computer. Boy, hear that processor? Making a lot of racket. It's definitely a noisy computer, but hey, you know, <laughs> as long as it works, that's all I care about. All right, looks like it's about done. Oh, it couldn't do a, an experience. Okay, that's I've never seen that before. Can I complete assessment? The assessment or other operation did not complete successfully. This is due to an error being reported from the operating system, driver, or other component. Wow. Well, then that's something. All right. Well, we'll just close out of that. Well, it wants to restart. Yeah, we'll just let it restart then. So. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll just wrap up this video then. So I know the video card works, and I never really mess with a DSM-59 video card adapter, you know, before. Um, also, what I didn't show you, this is the uh, DSM-59 to dual DVI. So this package came with uh, a dual VGA and a dual DVI setup for using with this type of uh, video card. So um, I'll be honest, I don't really care to use dual monitors if they're just going to be the same exact screen. You know, you want an actual video card that has, I guess, the two uh, connections on the back, you know, for actual dual monitor support, you know, instead of just splitting your image onto two monitors. So I don't know. That's just me, but I got this thing pretty cheap, and you know these actually this dual package is like eight dollars on eBay. So I'm like, Pfft. okay, why not? So, all right, well there you go, upgrading the Lenovo uh, computer and testing out a 128 megabit uh, DSM-59 video card and four gigs of RAM bumped up from one. So yeah, just uh, doing some troubleshooting and upgrades. So hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, adios.